what's up beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel my name is asham and i am super excited to be sharing with you how i was able to clear my hyperpigmentation so if you want to see how i went from this to now this keep on watching what a wonderful So you may be wondering, what is hyperpigmentation? Hyperpigmentation is basically when your skin overproduces melanin as a result causing your skin to darken and um, to be darker than the surrounding skin. And there are different types of hyperpigmentation. You have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, you have melasma, and you even have sunspots. Just to mention a few, I'll be focusing on post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is basically hyperpigmentation as a result of an inflammatory process so this could be caused by eczema it could be caused by um, psoriasis it could be caused by acne and i'll be focusing on the cause being acne as that was what caused my hyperpigmentation so without further ado let's get to the products the first product that helped me clear up my hyperpigmentation was the Eucerin Anti-Pigment Dual Serum. This dual serum consisted of two parts, with one side being the thiamidol part and the other side being the hyaluronic acid part. Hyaluronic acid is a component that is found in your skin and it helps to moisturize the skin, therefore retaining hydration in your skin. And for the thiamidol part, it is what um, it is a component that targets the hyperpigmentation and prevents the reappearance of dark spots. It's also really known, well known to um, treat melasma and there is an article about it in more detail. I'll link it down below in the description box for you to read. But overall, I really love this product. It um, worked within two weeks. I would say I saw a difference in my complexion. I started using this product when most of my acne was cleared out and I needed something to combat this hyperpigmentation and I would use it on days I was not using Differin. Differin was my acne treatment. If you want to see in more detail where I discuss Differin, check in the description down below where I show um, how I cleared my acne. I'll put a link there or on the screen where I talk about Differin in more detail. But other than that, that's how I used it. I used it um, at night after I cleanse my skin. I use it and then I go in with my night cream and that's how i would apply it onto my skin and i would really recommend it to anyone now for the second product that helped me with my hyperpigmentation um if you find the eucerin to be a bit more on the pricey side because it can be um once i was done using it i looked for a more affordable one and that was the niacinamide um, by skin functional this one was the 10 percent one and i absolutely loved it it was lightweight it was non-greasy as well absorbed quickly into my skin and niacinamide is basically a derivative of vitamin b3 and it is meant to target hyperpigmentation. It is meant to um, also help with enlarged pores and to reduce, um, to regulate sebum production. When I started using this product, I used it like every third day and then I then uh, got used to it and then used it for like um, every second day. And I wouldn't use it also when I use different and just because I just don't like to mix up active ingredients together and I want to see how my skin reacts to one product. So I never add more than one product to my skincare routine at a time just because I want to see how my skin reacts to it. And I had no side effects. It was great. I would say though, um, maybe the serum is better for um, oily skin because with serums, I actually love to get the hydrating um, benefits like um, the Eucerin serum that has hyaluronic acid. So I'm still looking for another serum, but I do like it. I do think it was a good product, but um, I'm looking for something different. The third product that helped me clear up my hyperpigmentation is the Bioderma Pigment Biofoaming Cream. I love this product because it has an active ingredient called alpha hydroxy acid, which works as an exfoliator. It also has microbeads, which means that it functions as both a physical exfoliator and a chemical one. I'm not such a fan of the microbeads because I just feel like that causes more physical damage as opposed to gently exfoliating the skin off. Therefore, I'm not even a fan of like spin brushes. I don't use those. I 
i think they're harsh just anything to physically scrub your face is a no-go for me i prefer using um, a chemical exfoliator that is gentle on my skin however the way i use this product was i would apply it onto wet skin and then i would let it sit for about five minutes and then i'll rinse it off so you can use it as a mask and it still helps to exfoliate your skin and yeah i love it because it doesn't dry your skin and it's absolutely gentle especially if i use it that way i don't like the microbeads as i mentioned before but it's all up to you it still worked it helped clear up my um, dark spots and i still use it now but i'm still looking for something else to replace it so if you have any recommendation please just let me know in the comment section below the final product that i'll be discussing and i would recommend to clear hyperpigmentation and honestly just recommend in general is sunscreen Sunscreen is so important. I will forever preach sunscreen. So now there are two types of sunscreens. You have the physical sunscreen and the chemical sunscreens. And um, what is recommended, especially for people of color, is the physical sunscreen. I unfortunately didn't have a physical sunscreen at the time I was using my products. I was using the um, Cetaphil um acne line moisturizing lotion it had spf 30 but it was a chemical um sunscreen the difference between a chemical and a physical sunscreen is that the chemical sunscreen kind of absorbs the uv rays a bit before it actually works as opposed to the physical one which it just prevents um, uv rays from absorbing into your skin to begin with the only thing i would say about physical sunscreens is that they make you look like a smurf they, they leave that bluish cost on your face and honestly not a fan of that but um yeah so i think that if you want a sunscreen that doesn't that's physical but doesn't leave a cost i'm pretty sure there's some out there i haven't yet laid my hands on them but they're out there just letting you know but yeah this is what i was using it still worked as a sunscreen it did what it gotta do and i'm very happy about it um I would just recommend that you look for something more on the physical side of things when it comes to sunscreen. And that's pretty much all the products that I use to help with my hyperpigmentation. I do believe Differin helped as well. It, although Differin was targeting my acne, it also was exfoliating my skin. So when I stopped using Differin, that's when I actually was using my alpha hydroxy acid um, product um just to clarify and um yeah that's pretty much what i used and i'm very happy i just want to wish you all the best with your skincare journey i hope that everything works out for you and until next time bye